Hi, my name is Elizabeth Rossi, and I'm a disabled veteran. I own the food cart on the right pictured in this photo. You may have heard of my dad. His name is Dan Rossi. He's also a Marine Corps veteran. He served two tours in Vietnam and is also disabled. He is known as the New York Hot Dog King. A few years ago, we were featured on Munchies, and most recently, my dad has been featured in the New York Times, Humans of New York, and the exciting Street Food USA Episode 3 on Netflix. The police came by last Wednesday to make a complaint about my van being parked near the carts, so I happily moved the vehicle. Then, yesterday, Wednesday, October 12th, 2022, I was again approached by the NYPD because of this sign being shown here in front of the cart. For the last year and a half, I have had this sign in front of the push cart, and not one time has anyone come to complain or ticket us about the sign. Yet this sign promoting my dad's book with the advertisement about my dad's book is going to be ticketed. I requested um, information about why I was being ticketed. And I also asked if they would be nice enough to just give me a warning this time since I didn't know I couldn't have the sign up. And they said that there would be no warning and I would receive a ticket. It is important to note that at the moment, NYPD officers have been told to stand down and not ticket food vendors since there is a food vendor agency that is now going to handle enforcement. More important to note is that 11 officers from the NYPD, from the Parks Department, as well as the legal team for the NYPD came out to ticket me for a sign when New York City crime is at an all-time high and murders and homicides are at an all-time high. Could someone explain to me why the Central Park Precinct needed to come out with a team of people to give a disabled veteran a $500 ticket? I'm pretty sure this is in response and this is harassment for the book that my father just wrote. The officer shown here is actually writing my ticket out on an illegal food cart. This illegal food cart has been here for four years. It is extremely important that you realize that they have now shown up two Wednesdays in a row. And the reason Wednesday is important is because the museum is closed on Wednesdays. And when the museum is closed, I am the only food cart that opens, which means that they are purposely avoiding coming any other day of the week so that they are not forced to enforce the laws on the illegal carts that set up near me. This harassment has to stop, and I, I call on all of you to please share this and make it go viral.